people are realizing they can get deals done, they can get work done and accomplish really, really big things through video conferencing. They don't have to sit in the same room and meet in the same room. Now, I know it's great to be able to go meet your customers in person, um, especially if you're like a large enterprise, but people are getting things done. A lot has changed in business over the past 30 years, but one element that continues eternal is meetings. These days, we might have them over Zoom, but they're still the same as ever. Our guest on the latest Uptech Report isn't trying to change meetings, but he is hoping to make them easier to navigate and process. And he's doing it with artificial intelligence. Krish Ramanini, the co-founder and CEO of Fireflies. It's a company that offers an artificial personal assistant that can take notes on your meetings, giving you transcripts and action items, and even attend them without you. Krish, I'm excited to be with you and hear more about Fireflies and this uh, concept of, of what you're looking to serve. Just begin, can you describe your company and, and the concept of it in, in five seconds, really brief, what is it? Fireflies is a AI meeting assistant that joins your meetings and takes notes. Uh, yeah. Simple as that, AI assistant joins your meetings and takes your notes. Uh, so this concept, what, what began the, even before it, it was created? What did you see? What was the problem that you're like, I need to solve this? Great question. So with the areas that we were serving, we noticed that, you know, whether we were working in tech or any other industry, meetings is where work gets done. And the common problem is people spend so much of their working time in meetings and those things add up over time, right? The, the challenges with staying organized, getting decisions uh, driven to completion. And so we always felt like there needed to be better documentation and accountability for meetings. And we wanted to build a way where people could actually get work done during meetings and not have to worry about taking notes or having things written down and then having to follow up over email. And with all that said, we said, okay, let's build an assistant like Jarvis, like that you see in Iron Man or, uh, you know, like Siri that can join your meetings, transcribe everything, uh, extract out action items and notes from that meeting and help you stay organized. Uh, so that was a really the root problem that we were tapping into. Why Fireflies, the name? That's a great, <laughs> that's, a, that's a tough question to answer usually. So Fireflies actually was the code name we used for a bunch of other projects in the past. And so my co-founder and I, uh, we met while my co-founder Sam was at MIT. We were working on a host of different projects. Uh, the initial project we worked on was related to drones uh, and delivery. And so we want to do drone delivery at night. And at night, when the drones go out and light up, it looks like fireflies. So that's where the name came from. And we've always, you know, stuck with that name. Uh, but, you know, we were kind of lazy to change the name, to, to be honest. But as we've gone about and started building out our company, people have come up with great origin stories that we didn't even uh, think about. So they said, oh, I totally get why you've named your company Fireflies, because you're lighting up conversations that were previously, like, uh, something you couldn't see inside an organization. And so like, wow, we'll, we'll run with that story, but we didn't come, come up with it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, love, I love the honesty, but also the uh, ability to just pivot and use it and keep using it. It's a cool day. So now in today's world uh, where uh, working from home is the standard, if anything, this has accelerated, I imagine, the adoption of uh, more video meetings and, and content, which allows your platform to help even more? Can, can you weigh in on that? What's your thoughts? So there's definitely a few big trends happening right now. We were always big believers in remote work. Our whole company is a globally distributed team across five countries uh, in eight different locations. So for us, remote work was how we started the, the company. Even from day one, uh, we were remote. Even though we moved our entire team to San Francisco in the beginning, uh, we decided to like not go to the office and just start working from home because it was more convenient. And so I totally agree that with COVID, this was now become a forced situation upon both big companies as well as small startups. Um, and for us, the shift was a little bit more gradual because this is what we've been already doing. Um, so I'm a big believer in that trend, that remote work, being able to work from anywhere, being able to afford living in different places other than just Silicon Valley is going to be a very big, big uh, trend that's going to happen, right? Um, 
And so that was something that's helped catalyze some of the growth we've seen with Fireflies in the last couple months. The other thing is that people are realizing they can get deals done, they can get work done and accomplish really, really big things through video conferencing. They don't have to sit in the same room and meet in the same room. Now, I know it's great to be able to go meet your customers in person, um, especially if you're like a large enterprise, but people are getting things done. In fact, M&A acquisitions are happening uh, over video conferencing. Uh, student graduation like, is happening over uh, 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 video conferencing. So I think the world is, has finally adopted that and has accepted it on a much larger scale uh, due to you know, the recent uh, you know, change in events. The thing where Fireflies becomes really interesting for folks is now they're having too many meetings and what became like, oh, this is a cool tool I'll try out to, I need to stay organized. Like I'm having way too many meetings. I, I don't remember what I said on like a Zoom call, you know, two hours ago, because I'm having back to back to back uh, meetings, right? And so with that in mind, people are saying, okay, I need something that can just help me organize and capture all my meetings in one place. I really need like a Google search for my meetings. And that's where Fireflies is really valuable for people where it's able to capture everything automatically. It's able to join the meeting. Uh, and then afterwards, people can go back and search across any single meeting that they've ever had. And because of the rise in meetings in the last couple of months, it's now become, oh, I need to have this tool versus, hey, this is something cool. I'm an early adopter, let me try it. But instead now it's like, wow, our entire organization should have it. And people are coming up with really, really creative ways to use it. For example, I might have three or four simultaneous back-to-back -back meetings that I'm not able to attend. So what I do is I send fireflies to attend those meetings and I listen to the recaps afterwards or review the recaps and transcripts afterwards. So, and that was an idea that was brought to us by a customer uh, who said, hey, I have like a several back-to-back -back meetings and I'm using fireflies uh, to have it attend the meeting on my behalf. So which is really cool to see as well. This concept of meetings back to back that's like everyone's like, like exhausted um with, with zoom calls and, and things in today's world but it's easy to forget everything so i imagine i like your terminology google search through it do you have let's talk about other options out there your competitors and why what is the same or what's different of what you're offering i think the world is heading towards a point in time where voice and meeting transcription and these things are becoming heavily embraced. The technology where it was five years ago, you needed maybe 10 PhDs to do what we're doing today. Now the technology is getting democratized, AI is getting better, speech is getting uh, more accurate, right? And so all these factors are making this uh, become more mainstream um, to say the least. And I think we're in this really great inflection point where if you were to have a meeting transcribed in the past using uh, you know, human transcription services, they would charge you a dollar per minute. So you would quickly run about $60 uh, for a one hour podcast or one hour meeting, right? And now where the technology is really accurate, it's almost on par with humans. And, you know, we'll get to a point where it'll be as good as humans. Um, and so this is a really, really interesting wave of adoption that's happening with the technology. The belief that we have is that what Fireflies can help with is through meetings uh, and to, by integrating with all the different systems that are out there. So the ability to capture a meeting and transcribe a meeting is really the starting point. That's the hook, why they come, but they're really staying for the workflows and stuff. So I can just connect Fireflies to my calendar. It'll detect when I'm having a Zoom meeting or a Microsoft Teams meeting. We integrate with you know, all the major web conferencing providers out there. Um, including Google Meet, Teams, GoToMeeting, Uber Conference, BlueJeans, all these systems. It's able to connect in, it's able to join the meeting, um, and it's automatic for me. So I can, you know, sit back and not have to worry about it. So the ease of being able to integrate with all these web conferencing and video conferencing systems is really, really vital for users. And then being able to bring all these meetings back into the systems where you already work. So if I'm working on Slack, or if I'm working in Salesforce or any of these other tools, after my meeting, I can have the transcripts, the notes, uh, the audio, and all these other things automatically populated in there for me. And so we are essentially using voice to automate workflows in a really interesting way. And so that's where you know, customers come to us and say, wow, this is really great. It's two clicks. It's already set up. I'm getting value out of it. For you, your business model, what does it look like? Is this SaaS model per user basis? T tell me a bit more about that. 
Yeah, so our business definitely is focused on getting people to have meetings um, and not have to worry about how many meetings they're having. Um, so it is a SaaS uh, per seat model and you can be an individual user that's using it. You can invite your team um, and they can have their meetings started, uh, captured and transcribed as well. Uh, people are able to come in and sign up and start using it with our free tier. Um, and then if you want the transcription and meeting search and some of these more advanced capabilities like integrations, uh, you're able to get access to that on the pro and business tier. We price it, you know, like any other collaboration tool so that, you know, you're, you don't have to worry about adding seats uh, and like having the bill rack up so that it's like affordable. Um, I think there are enterprise voice technology systems out there that are going to be charging hundreds of dollars per seat, uh, maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars per seat. And uh, what we're able to do is give you that same value for 10, 15 bucks per user. Uh, and it's also really exciting to see people adopt that and figure out the value. We have customers coming back to us and telling us, if I had to use the same stuff Fireflies is providing me a couple of years ago, this would have cost me like thousands of dollars per month, right? So the affordability and ability to basically bring, bring it to the masses. So for you, where you are now, what's, what's the roadmap in the near term and the long term? So the next year, what, what's coming up on the road and, and what are you planning for the long term? So right now our goal is to be able to, we're still a small company, so we're, we're trying to scale up and support the needs of users. Uh, you know, volume of users and meetings has hit us relatively quickly and just keeping up, making the system, uh, you know, and experience more easier over time and just get building a better, pro, uh, better product um, and really tuning into customers. I think the value is there. We figured out the things that customers really love us about, uh, love about us. And then we have also found things where we can definitely improve and uh, increase that overall experience for folks. Uh, for me, what I look at is how can we help capture meetings and help capture the voice of your organization, your customers, uh, your employees and everything in the most easy way possible. And so we're doing things that are able to integrate with all these different systems. So one you're seeing is web conferencing today, but you know, we're working with uh, systems and integrating on a more native level. We rolled out our new Zapier integration where you know, Zapier has connected to over hundreds and hundreds of different voice and telephony systems. And with Fireflies now, you can basically get all those meetings and recordings and voicemails and everything in those different systems transcribed with a click of a button. You know, if you have like a Google Drive folder with tons of past recordings or past webinars, you can run them through Zapier and Fireflies and have them transcribed. So our vision is to build this 360 degree voice router where it's able to connect to all these different systems of voice and communication um, and be able to capture it for you. And so going back to our business model and the vision I see for Fireflies, uh, it's very, you know, I'm, I, I'm a huge fan of Zapier and I'm a huge fan of workflows. Uh, and I'm sure like any person that's working uh, on a lot of different things and has a small team needs to use automated workflows like Zapier uh, and segment all incredible tools out there. Clearbit, again, another great workflow tool. So we're seeing people get really creative with Fireflies. People are coming to us and telling us, hey, this is how I integrate Calendly with uh, Fireflies so that I can have my meetings uh, work. There's another AI meeting scheduler called x.ai and they get that system to talk to Fred, our AI assistant, and schedule the meeting and have it transcribed. So it's really cool to see users, right? These guys aren't developers, uh, but these guys are users that are coming in and saying, these are all the great ways I can use Fireflies. And I think that's a testament to also this bigger movement of no code that's happening. People love using tools like Notion, Airtable, which are essentially like databases that you can build workflows and applications on top of. And so they're bringing those, you know, same, it's that same DNA um, to be able to build tools on top of Fireflies or build workflows on top of Fireflies. And we totally want to encourage that. And we want people to build their own workflows using Zapier or our uh, API and help them, you know, create like a really, really enriched experience and plug Fireflies into whatever they're doing. Be sure to check out part two of my conversation with Krish, in which he talks about what it was like to come out to San Francisco to start a business with no experience and no connections.